Hey everybody, welcome back to the Daily Burn. Come on in. This is the war room of the political revolution. What this is, is a daily inspirational, motivational show that we do from the Our Revolution War Room page for all of us that are out there fighting in this revolution in order to move our government and advance our society into one that works for the people. Please like and share and comment. Any interaction in the show helps us do better in the algorithm and get out to more viewers. So I would really appreciate it. Plus, I love reading your comments and I want this to be an ongoing discussion. So please take part in the show. But thanks for coming back to The Daily Burn. I'm your host, Sean Yankee. And today I wanted to start with a story that happened to me yesterday at Walmart, just to illustrate how it's really the little things that will move this revolution forward. So I was at Walmart. I had a few things I had to buy. And I'm in the express lane, which is a joke. At Walmart, they never have more than two or three lanes open. One of them is usually the express lane, and the line is usually 20 people long. So I'm standing in that line. And this guy walks up. I see him coming from a mile away. He's got the red MAGA hat on, right? And I try not to be triggered by these hats, but I got to admit that every time I see one, my opinion of the wearer of the hat drops dramatically. I automatically assume the worst. So he walks up, gets in line behind me, right? So I'm like, okay, great. But next thing I know, he's talking to me. He's like, hey, can you believe they don't have any more lines open in here and I'm like yeah I'm actually getting kind of used to it like they expect us to work here ourselves pointing at the self checkouts you know and he's like yeah I ain't using those things those things take jobs I'm like yeah they got them at my work too you know they're trying to replace cashiers everywhere with automated self checkouts you know there's whole stores that exist where you just self check out you go in there's nobody there Amazon has them you go in, there's nobody there. You get what you want and walk out, and it automatically debits you. They're trying to eliminate service from customer service, you know, and they will if we let them. And that's what we were standing there talking about. So we end up having a really good conversation while we're waiting in line about, you know, the economy and jobs and automation and all kinds of things. And I'm standing there amazed because right away like I, like I said I had the bad opinion because of the MAGA hat and you know he's got the chain on his wallet and when he pulled out his wallet to pay it's the rebel flag you know, the full nine yards I'm surprised he wasn't carrying a gun but we had a good conversation is what I'm talking about and we agreed on a lot of things you know I have a lot of friends that are Trump supporters I don't close myself off we agree on many more things and I can't convert them if I close myself off but anyways so he only had a few items too so we end up pretty much walking out of Walmart together almost and we're still kind of talking you know we're laughing at the people as we walk by the self checkout you know I, I think he said something about making sure that you clock out remember to clock out before you leave or whatever so we're joking and I was parked pretty close to the front and like I've been talking about on this show for about a month and a half now I have a bump, Bernie bumper sticker on my car. So we get to my car and he sees the Bernie sticker and I see his reaction, his, his uh, opinion of me drop. I watch it happen. I see it happen on his face. He's like, oh, you, uh, you think that a socialism's right for America? Perfect opportunity, right? So I get to stand there and talk to a Trump supporter wearing a MAGA hat with a Confederate flag wallet about Bernie Sanders. And we talked for probably 10 minutes. And he ended up admitting to me that he likes Bernie. He is just afraid that his taxes are going to go through the roof. That's what they're doing is they're terrifying people with taxes. You know, I have another friend that is into Trump and thinks Trump's anti-establishment because the media is or at least appears to be against Trump. But what they're doing is building up a boogeyman because they plan to threaten you with him. And they're going to try to get you to accept a Joe Biden or a Kamala Harris or one of their shills in place of real progress out of fear of Donald Trump. But since the media attacks Donald Trump and goes after Donald Trump as much as they do, he believes he's anti-establishment, which makes him think he's an ally, despite the fact that everything he does goes against our own best interest, but he's very concerned about taxes too. Like, you know, 
who doesn't want health care? You know, even if you are a selfish person and you're like, well, I don't think this person deserves it, therefore I don't want anyone to have it, you still need health care. You are going to get old. You are going to fall apart. You may even get sick. You know, and you're going to get weak. You might be strong now. You got a strong back, working your job. What about when you're older? You plan on retiring, right? I mean, where is your safety net? They're talking about Social Security not even being around for us, for my generation. Where is our safety net? you got to think about your future. And then the other part, the people that aren't afraid of the taxation or don't necessarily feel like they, they don't deserve it, or that's what I was trying to say, they don't feel like they deserve it. They don't realize that this is commonplace all over the world, that other uh, first world countries in our economic status guarantee health care to their citizens, pay their people a living wage, have much better um, benefit packages at their jobs, get more time off, get paid maternity leave. There is all kinds of things that are considered just take for granted benefits all over the world that we consider luxuries. You know, we're made to believe we have it so good but we're misled about what's actually going on. And then we don't understand why we have all these crises in this country. We don't take care of our people. There's no mental health care. You know, we, we'd rather have a war on drugs that's been going on since the 70s and drugs won a long time ago. You know, the war on drugs was really against the war on the poor and minorities. That's what the war on drugs is and always has been. You know, this society, this system that we find ourselves in, this greed-driven <coughs> system that controls us, that has power over us, that lords over our lives, we allow it to have that power. And we can take it away. We can decide that it is over. And that's what we're doing. Millions of us are coming together and are prepared to do the work needed to move this revolution forward. We are going to stay united. We are going to move forward, whether they knock us down 15 times or not. No matter what they throw in our path, we're going to keep going. Because we understand that's what has to happen. That's what it takes. That's how change takes place. That's the only way change takes place. That's the only way it will ever take place. When millions of people stand united and demand it. That's why Bernie spends so much time saying that over and over and over again. Why his slogan is not me, us. It's our fight. We have to own it. And when enough of us do, there'll be nothing that they can do. Now I include a link in the description of every daily burn to BernieSanders.com. Please go there and see if there's any way that you can help out the campaign, maybe by becoming a volunteer. There's nearly three million of us volunteering already to get Bernie elected president and move this revolution forward. Become one of us or donate any amount. While you're there, though, get a bumper sticker. Put a bumper sticker on your car. You know, we just need to do all we can. Do everything that you can. Capitalize on every opportunity that you can. We can win this. We just have to do all that we can. So just do all that you can and stop focusing on how much we're up against. There's no point in focusing on that. We are up against a ton. I know that. You know that. We all understand that. We know what we're up against. We see that it's, a, it's an uphill fight. But Bruce Lee said once, if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you will never get it done. And you, you have to do the action. You have to do the work. You can't spend all your time thinking, oh, this is too big. That's how you end up being one of those people that sits around all the time and talks about how this can't be done. You thinking about too how, how about the problem too much, you know? Start working on it. Start putting in the work. That's what this is going to take. A dream without the work will forever stay a dream. You will never accomplish it. Nothing will ever happen. You have to put in the work. You have to get out there and do it every day, even when you don't want to, even when you don't feel like it. You have to. That's the only way it happens. You want something, you go get it. And that's what we're doing here. 
We understand that. Like I said, three million of us already volunteering. There's more than that committed to this fight. So let's just say it's only four million people. That's a lot. Moving in one direction, we're going to get the momentum needed to reach a tipping point to convert enough people to our movement to win. I don't care how big the problem is. That's why there's no point thinking about it. There's rigged polls. There's rigged media. They'll cut polling stations. They'll do all they can. They will lose. Just believe that. Know it. We're winning. We've been the front runners since day one. This is nothing like 2015. And they know that. And they are running scared. That's why they are spending so much money on propaganda videos against Medicare for All. And why they'll spend so much more money. They will do everything they can to stop us. Don't focus on that. Our enemy is there. They've been there forever. They ain't going nowhere. They're going to do what they're going to do. But they got nothing to deal with what we're going to do. Because they can't stop it. Nothing they have will stop it if we stay unified. We stay together and we stay strong, they're done. This greed-driven system will be brought to an end. And we will have the opportunity to rebuild our government and our society into one that works for the people. We can do this. We are doing this. Not Bernie. Us. This is our fight. That is the most important thing that I that I say, and I say it every day. And Bernie says it every speech. This is our fight. You know, a reporter said to Bernie once that he says the same things over and over again, and I've realized that I do too. This show is pretty repetitive. Every day I'm saying pretty much the same thing. But once we win, I'll talk about something else. When we get health care as a right for everyone, when we have a living wage, when we're focusing on rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure instead of endless war, then I'll talk about something else. We can, we can hang out. We'll, we'll have a different show. Once we get the world where we want it, we'll change the show into something different. You know, I'll have a new topic every day. We'll talk about whatever you want. Till then, I am going to focus on moving this revolution forward. This is my way of contributing. This is what I decided I could do. Pick something you can do, no matter what it is, anything. Don't start another show. I don't need the competition, but anything. Pick something and then commit to doing that every day, whether you feel like it or not. Make sure that you do that every day. So pick something you can do and do it. Because there will be a time, even if you pick something that you absolutely love to do, there will be a time where you don't want to do it. Keep push it. Make yourself do it. Whatever you decide that is, it could be as small as sharing a couple articles on Facebook every day. That makes a difference. Planting seeds, spreading the truth, all of that makes a difference. Like I said, it's little things. It's not one person waking up at 6 a.m. and canvassing till noon and phone banking till 3 o'clock and then setting up a table and devoting their life to the revolution. It's millions of people doing little things, taking advantage of little opportunities making, and little moments, making the most of those. That's what does this. That's what brings us, that's what pushes us forward. That's what brings us to the victory. We inspire people. Stop with the confrontations. There's no point. Bickering back and forth, fighting with Biden supporters, fighting with Trump supporters, there's no point. Find your middle ground. Be an inspiration. Be the change you want to see, starting right now. You don't have to wait for it. What, what are we waiting for? Start right now. That's honestly one of the more beautiful things about our part in this fight. Our job is a lot different than Bernie's job. Our jobs and our part in this fight starts right now. We can begin doing what we do right now. You know, that's just people becoming active, people waking up, people becoming involved. We're doing that right now. So we're already changing reality. 
You see, reality is is what you tolerate. It's it ends up being what you tolerate. You know, the things that are in your life that you don't like, that you don't want, at some level you are tolerating those things. You could eliminate them, but you are tolerating them. We need to stop tolerating this greed. We need to realize our power is in our numbers. Unite, move forward, make our demands met. We're not asking. That's what a lot of people don't understand. They're like, how are you going to do this? Like, how are you going to get that done? Or, or even worse, they'll be like, how is Bernie going to get that done? Bernie isn't going to do anything on his own. We do this. You know, like when Bernie was asked in the debate, how are you going to pass Medicare for all? He said, I'm going to organize millions of people. That's how I'm going to do it. That's how all this gets done. This is our job. Bernie is our candidate. He's a fantastic candidate. We couldn't ask for a better candidate. And he's running a fantastic campaign. He's killing it. This is our fight. We need enough people to understand that. And that's why I spend so much time talking about that. Because that's what needs to happen. Millions of us realizing and owning this, taking responsibility for it, and putting in the work. That last part's probably the most important part of all of it. Without the work, without doing what needs to be done, it's all just talk. And it's nice talk, real pretty talk, but without action, it will stay talk. And we need change. There must be change. We're running out of time. You know, they say we're 10 years away from a climate crisis. Well, we can't wait. You know, the, most, most, most economic experts predict that we're heading for an economic crisis. The rug's going to be pulled out from under us. Can't let this opportunity pass us by. I'm not going to. I am going to do everything that I can. And if enough people have that same mentality, we will win. We just will. I'm not an optimistic person. I'm really not. I fight depression. I'm bipolar. I have PTSD. I have a laundry list of problems. This is a very hard show for me to do. I got to put myself together every day to do this show. And that's why, one of the reasons why I'm going to keep doing it. Because it's making me a better person. Like I said, I picked this as my thing to do for the revolution. There are days I don't want to do it. You know? But I make myself. I force myself. I've had days where I was crying before, laying in the dark, crying, thinking this was over. I wouldn't be able to do it. There's no way I can talk to these people right now. I got to put myself in the right frame of mind, and I made myself do it. And the more I've done that, the easier this has gotten to the point where now these are pretty easy for me to do. Even on days I don't want to do them, I can manage to get it done. And it doesn't even take that long to get my mind right. It gets easier. You force yourself through it. Keep pushing forward. Through discipline and repetition, it will become a habit. And you just make a change in your life, just like that. Just by deciding to do it, putting in the work, and, and sticking to it having the discipline to stick to it and see it through. That's the way things happen. And that's what we're doing, but on a much larger scale. So do all you can do. All you can worry about is you. Like I said, don't think too much about the problem because then you never get anything done. Just start doing what you can do. Do all that you can do. But thanks guys for coming. And if you shared, thank you so much. That helps more than you know. And I really want this message to get out there and spread. So thank you. You know, the show has been doing very good. And I know that that has everything to do with all the loyal viewers that I see here every day. And you guys coming back every day and hitting them like buttons and sharing. That means the world to me. I see you here every day and, and I really appreciate your support. And you know who I'm talking to. But next we're going to get into Bernie events. We would usually do news right now, but my internet is still down. 
Matter of fact, to do these burns, I'm going to break the fourth wall here. We are not live. This is pre-recorded, and it's always pre-recorded, but um, usually I can do it like an hour or two before we air it, and that way the news is really relevant and current and all of that, but I have no internet, so I have to film this at home and then drive to McDonald's to upload it. <laughs> and put it out for you guys and then sit at McDonald's so that I can participate in the show and watch it with you and uh, answer comments. So that's what I've been doing the last two days to do these burns. I am in a McDonald's right now <laughs> watching this burn with you. But that's part of it. That's I committed to doing this and I do this every day and I love it. I've gotten to where I love it. But thank you guys for supporting the show. And let's get into some Bernie events. Bernie events is also going to be short today because of my lack of internet. I'm in the dark of what Bernie's doing right now, and uh, not completely because I'm a texter. If you want to get enrolled in the texting service, text Bernie to 67760, and I will be sitting here at McDonald's right after I finish this burn and texting out my messages. And what we do is we send out messages about anything that's relevant to the campaign in your area, any news that is relevant to the revolution, etc. So. If you want to enroll to receive text from the campaign, text Bernie to 67760. Another way to stay informed with what's going on with the campaign is to get the Burn app. The Burn app you can get anywhere you get a phone app, and it's really cool. Uh, it also statistically counts you as a supporter, so it's really good to get that Burn app. Plus, you can do this My Bernie story where you record a short video that you can share to social media about why you support Bernie Sanders and you know help out with the movement, spread the word things like that. It's really neat. So get the Burn app if you want to get that or sign up for the texting. And that's how you can stay informed with what's going on in the campaign. I'm sorry that I'm not able to let you know what's going on. I didn't even get to watch Bernie's rally yesterday. I was bummed. I wanted to go. I wanted to drive to Denver to see that rally. I'm dying to go to a Bernie Sanders rally. I have never been. And they look really neat. I've watched probably 50 of them. Uh, but I've never been to one. I, I want to go. I want to feel what that's like to be surrounded by that energy. It looks like it's awesome. And I've heard a lot of good things from people that have gotten to go to a rally. And just to be in a room and feel that energy, that's what's going to inspire people. That. Let's act like winners. We're winning. Let's act like it. Own it. You know? A lot of us are busy moping around thinking how hard this is going to be and what we're up against and frustrated by the polls and the news media and all of that. Don't let them break your spirit. That's what that stuff is for. Ignore it. Get that negativity out of your life, actually. Just eliminate it. Eliminate things from your life that aren't making you better, that aren't helping you along your way. If it's not advancing you or entertaining you or providing you value cut it loose get rid of it replace it with something that does give you value something that does boost you up something that does inspire you you know same goes with the people in your life you know these negative people you're gonna have to cut them out you know we can't save everybody unfortunately some of them will come back around. Some people just need to see that something works and, and, and then they'll come around, you know. Till then, they have to doubt it. They're just people that are like that. They doubt everything. And they're right. When you have that mindset, everything is impossible. But if you believe in yourself, you can achieve great things. You can do very big things, things that people think are impossible, things that you might think are impossible. They're within your reach. If you just believe, believe in it and then put in the work. You got to do both. You got to do both. And if you do both, you can do whatever you want. Just like we're going to do this. We have decided that we are going to win. We're not going to ask nicely. We're not here to negotiate. We're here to take this. And millions of us understand that that's the way it's going to have to be. They're going to go out kicking and screaming. What you're seeing right now is the death throes of a power system that is on its way out. 
We're killing it. Keep going. Keep going. Don't let them fool you. They see what's happening, and they are afraid. But they're counting on us to back down. They're counting on us to fold. Don't give them what they want. Keep moving forward. Keep doing all you can. They knock you down, get up. Get yourself together. Pay attention to your mindset. Focus on your goal. And we can do this. And all we have to do is all that we can. Thank you guys for hanging out with me here today. And I will see all of you right here tomorrow for a brand new episode of The Daily Burn. Keep fighting out there. I'll see you tomorrow.